YouTube. Okay, I'm here. I just I just got off the PlayStation 3 website. Just messed up. I meant to say Smart Numbers is wrong. Ah, I, I, I just got off the Smart Numbers is wrong website and, and just got done looking at Smart Numbers is wrong. 2010, 2010, 10, 10. Okay, 2010. Um, was well, yeah videos. So I'm um, I'm just trying to see why PS2 fans are complaining. Um. Not complaining about SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. Now, uh, because it's not getting any good features. Now, I'm getting the game when it first came out because I went out to GameStop Friday and pre-ordered it. So I pre-ordered it, and um, when it first comes out, I'm gonna walk out to GameStop and um, I'm gonna get my copy. And the Stone Cold Steve Austin Code. Yeah, Stone Cold in the game, man. One of my favorite wrestlers ever is Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. The Rock, I think, is only available on the UK. And I suggest there's, that people can leak some codes up on the internet, I suspect. But I think the code will only be used one time. Once you use the code, you can't use it anymore. This is what I suggest, but who knows? Um, like like Ric Flair, they had a Ric Flair code for um, 2009. But anyways, I'm getting off subject. Basically... What Lil P here is trying to say, you know, my name Lil P, that's what my friends call me, Lil P, from the ALB, from the A-Town, baby. Okay, um, you know, I have a PlayStation 3, which PS3 and the 360 get the good version, get the best version of SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. PS3 and 360 get Superstar Threads. Superstar Threads where you can, um, edit real WWE Superstar, you can change the colors. No, you can't change the clothes, which kind of disappointed me. But you can change the color of the outfit. You can change Undertaker's attire to like a pink. You can change it pink. You can change it any color you want and use it. And the and 360 and PS3 also get the new redesign on PlayStation 3. <laughs> I missed up. I mean, they, they, they get the new redesign, create a superstar, create a wrestling mode, basically. Um, PS2 and Wii get the original one. PS, PS2 and we get the um the PS3 and 360 can hold more hold more character slots for your for your created character like I think I think like last year PS3 and 360 and all of them hold it like 30 about 29 to 30 um 30 or 20 or 30 uh slots for your created superstar for PS3 and 360 it's about 50 or 60 or 40 something slots for your created superstar which go less a lot that's a lot created superstar. Either 60, 50, or 40 created superstar. Or not the or 30. One of those two. That goes up. No, it's about 40 or 50 or 60. It's one of those two created superstar slots. PS2 gets the same as last year, about 20 or 30. Uh it's just kind of it's kind of messed up because I'm like, dang, PS2 ain't getting nothing. Like the um oh my nose just got stuffed up and, and I'm not sick. I have, to, I, have to, I have to breathe up my mouth, man. Um, so basically, what, what I'm saying is PS, PS2 ain't getting it. The, the whole theme of this game is called It's Your World Now. It's Your World Now. But it's not the PS2's world. Or the Wii. See, the PS2, the only good thing they're getting is create a finisher mode. And, I mean, uh, yeah. The um, new create your own turn book or diving attacks or uh, create a finishing mode and create a story mode, but that's it. Nothing else. Not create a logo. Not superstar threes. And not uh, what's it called? Cause I think that. Oh yeah, and to create a logo, no highlight reel. The only thing they get is that. Now, it's not the PS. It's not the PS2 world. It's the, it's it's the 360 and PS3's world. But it's not the own PS2, it's always. Y'all getting ripped off. We is not getting it's getting the same thing PS2 gets. Same thing with the PSP. Except the DS, but the DS sucks, so who cares? Um That's all I'm saying is I'm like, wow. They ripped y'all PS2 fanboys off. I mean for real. But um us PS3 fanboys get superstar threads and oh yeah, and three sixty get get superstar threads. Um the new Redesign, create a superstar mode. 
Oh yeah, and it create a pose more. You can actually create a pose for your um at the virtual screen like like when you go to play now or you, know, you, know, you select your match and then you guys select the raster when the play is you can choose the pose how it's going to be like on that picture which is much better why, I, why the PS2 they just give you a default pose and, and, and that same pose goes for every superstar you every superstar you create on the PlayStation 2 like 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 Smackdown Wrestle 2009 when you made a superstar their pose was kind of like a little stand up over here like like they kind of be like leaning maybe like maybe like that. It's gonna be it, it, and that pose was like that for every superstar you made. It's gonna be exactly like that for PS2. Basically, PS2 was getting SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 with an updated roster. That's basically what PS2 is getting. And the credit suit and the credit um story mode. But I have a pretty good darn feeling it's not gonna be as good as it was for PS3. Because the PS3 and 360, the graphics, look, they finally fixed the graphics. They're fixing the quality of the created superstar. Quality. Quality. Okay. <laughs> the, the quality of the um, created superstars, which means, like, y'all remember when y'all make a um, superstar on um, the past SmackDown vs. Raw games. And then you put it like, like, let's say this. You make a suit, you, yeah. You create a superstar on SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, 8, 7, 6, or 2005. Or, or as it was back then, just called SmackDown vs. Raw. But anyways, if you create a superstar on those games, and then, and, and you put, like, um, your created superstar against The Undertaker. Now, you could tell a difference from a created superstar or a created superstar and a, and a, um, and a real superstar because... See, the crazy superstars will look kind of fake, while the um the real the, while while real WWE superstars will look kind of real, and they will sweat a little bit like that, and you see that. So you do understand what I'm saying right there. They're they're improving the quality. So when you put a created superstar and a real WWE superstar in the same ring, they look exactly the same. That means they're they both look as real. I mean, really real. The quality is the same. Like the quality for creative superstars on the past SmackDown vs. Raw games was not good at all. All they were on PS2 was they just made them a little bit shinier, which made them look real. Why on the um PS? Why on on this one they're gonna look real? Period. So that's a really good point that they're doing that. But for PS2, they're not improving the quality of creative superstars. They're gonna make them look exactly the same. So y'all just getting ripped off. Big time. No online mode, which online mode, you can create a storyline and your cutscenes and upload it online. This, uh, and upload it online where other people from who got it on PS3 or 360 can go online, look at your story, ask this, get your story, download it, and play it themselves. Now that is a real, real good thing. You can own. That's real good though. And you can blah 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 blah. And, yeah, <laughs> and you can uh do a whole bunch of other stuff. You know, like you can upload, you can upload your created um entrance movies using the highlight reel, which is only available on PS3 and 360. Um, I'm just saying using the highlight reel. So basically, on the um the on online thing and download them directly, absolutely free. Download them directly. You can upload your created superstars. Your created finishers, your created interests, your created move sets, anything that you created on that game, you can upload it online and let other people download it and use it in their game. Now that's something THQ and not and not many games are doing that. I'm just so happy that I went out there and pre-ordered it because I'm finna enjoy it on on the PS3 directly. I mean on the PS3 having a great time and also uploading my highlight reels for y'all to see. My highlight reels. As soon as the game come out, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna, basically as soon as the game come out, I'm gonna make my superstar, make my story, and maybe make a little highlight reel and upload directly to YouTube. So y'all be looking at when the game first come out. Just look out for some videos of my highlight reels coming on YouTube directly from my PS3. That's what's up. So basically, what I'm saying is, PS2 fanboys, upload to a 360 or a PS3 because you're missing out. There was so much good features that PS3 and 360 had. Just upload. It's your boy PJ Too Hot. Peace.